The Bible teaches us that there is only one way to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. Jesus taught this himself in John 14, 6. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Bible clearly teaches that there is only one Savior, and that's Jesus. You can't save yourself, and no one else can save you. Only Jesus can do that. But that leads us to the question, what happens to people who have never heard about Jesus? What happens to the person who lives on some remote, distant island who never hears about Jesus and never meets a Christian? The Bible answers this question pretty clearly in Romans chapter 2. Let's read the verses. God will repay each person according to what they have done. To those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality, he will give eternal life. But for those who are self-seeking and who reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. There will be trouble and distress for every human being who does evil, but glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does good, for God does not show favoritism. Let's talk about what's going on in this passage that was written by the Apostle Paul. He's not saying that the way you get into heaven is by working your way to heaven, that if you're just good enough and you're just honorable enough and you just do all the right things, you'll get to heaven when you die. We know that's not what he's teaching because it sort of contradicts the rest of the book of Romans, which teaches that salvation happens when we put our faith in Jesus and there's no other way. So what's the Bible telling us? First of all, the Bible is saying that most people reject the truth about God. In Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 2, Paul is writing about people who don't have access to the Bible, who don't have access to people who know God. And what he says is that even though people don't have a Bible, they still have a sense of God. God has given every person the ability to respond to God. So you've got a tribesman living in some remote part of the rainforest. He doesn't have a Bible, but he can see the mountains and the stars and the sun. And all those things are meant to point him to God. They're meant to point him to the fact that there was one true God who created the universe. This tribesman has an inner sense of right and wrong, and the Bible says that that also comes from God. Now, the Bible says that the most normal thing that people do is that they reject the truth about God. They have that inner sense of right and wrong. They look at creation. But instead of turning to the true God of the universe and trying to seek him out, they make idols. They make fake gods and worship them. But the passage we read in Romans 2 holds out the hope that some people will respond to God in the right way. They'll look at creation. They'll look at the birth of a child. They'll look at their own sense of right and wrong, and they'll realize that there is a God out there, and they'll want to know that God. That's what it means to seek glory and honor and immortality. And what the Bible is saying is those who seek God will find him. The reality is that God gives every person enough truth to find him. God's not hiding from people. Look at Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God isn't hiding from anybody. He wants people to know him. So the person who has never heard about Jesus also has the opportunity to respond to God. They have the opportunity to recognize there's one creator out there and to seek him. And the Bible says that if they seek him, God will reveal himself to them. So when you think of people who don't have access to the Bible, who don't have access to Jesus, understand that God loves them and wants to have a relationship with them. And he will do whatever it takes to introduce them to Jesus. Go ahead and pause the video and discuss some questions on this issue.